good afternoon from the Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland. I know I'm not sure this is just a yellow say, wall. You can't tell where we are, but we are here. We can assure you we are here. Yeah, because we are just trying to be in the shape of the baby. Very busy here today. Yeah, so we were pulling in and there were so many cars and I was like, wonder why there are so many people shopping today. Well, A, it's a Friday, but also it's Easter weekend is coming up. So right. maybe people are trying to shop for Easter stuff or I don't know. But the reason why we're here is because recently Tim was at the parks. He was at Magic Kingdom. He was showing you guys the merch from the vault collection because the 50th anniversary is technically over yeah. at Walt Disney World. So I said, I wonder how much of this stuff is gonna be at the outlets. So we're here to see what's at the outlet. Is there like a ton of vault merch? Maybe, some that's, 50th merch? That's what I'm looking for. I also want to buy another one of those Life Day Snuggies if they still have it. That was like one of my greatest purchases of all of 2022. Yeah. I think it was originally like 40 or 50 bucks and we got it for 20 bucks. We got it for half off. It's fantastic, I love it, I use it every day. So we're gonna look for another one of those. Yeah, so let's do it. So another thing that I wanna look for while we're here, my people ask me all the time about these sunglasses. They're from Coach, I got them at the regular Coach store, but I'm kinda curious to see if the Coach outlet carries sunglasses and if they have these. Yeah. I just wanna see. I like these benches, it's like 97 degrees outside. And these benches are like, oh, they look like they're wood, so they won't be hot. Lies, they're made of metal. I hate it when stores play games with me. Like, just tell me the name of your store. I don't want to guess. That was a dad joke, right? That's good. Come to Florida. We got stores that just sell alligators. Let's see how many people are paying attention to our inside jokes. We talked about inside jokes oh, yeah. in uh, in the live show, but. Oh, no. Yeah. Did we say that one in the video? Yeah, we did. Did we? Yeah, we told the whole story. Oh, okay. Right here in front of this store. Here we go. Right next to the food court. We're headed to the Disney Character Warehouse. Saw a lot of stores that had lines outside. The Character Warehouse is not one with a line. It's kind of surprising. I think they just jam people in here. I was gonna say, with the amount of people that are here, oh no, that's the exit. Oh, well there's people wanting the exit. This is the entrance over here. Oh yeah, you see they have it set up just in case. Probably when they first open, they're like, got lots of lines. Oh, our first 50th thing. Oh wow. A Dooney and Burke for $150. $58. I don't even think I saw this in the park. Kind of looks worn, right? Is this how it's supposed to look? I think it is. It's supposed to be like vintage. Okay. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of people in there. I really like this Donald one though. Yeah, last time we were here, I can't, I contemplated getting this. Cool. And then they got some uh, Jungle Book prints too. Very cool. How much was this one? 178. Yeah. Same as this Donald one. They have the biggest one of the Jungle Book. This is the biggest size they offer in Dooney and Burke, right? I think so. 196. I do really like this style of bag though. Yeah, like a drawstring top? Yeah, it's cool. Is it like a backpack too? Or I don't know, just... where's the string? There's, there's a strap in here. Oh, okay. Oh, a Pixar tree, it's like a monster tree, Christmas tree. <laughs> 30 bucks. Oh, look, $79 for the 2022 WDW train set. Did we see this last time? This one's like themed to cookies and gingerbread and stuff like that. This Snow White print's pretty awesome too. Like the Seven Dwarfs and Snow White over here. This is $148. So the 85th anniversary of Snow White. What's this one? Oh, oh, Jasmine. Well, all these like the print looks bad, right? Yeah. Is this how Dooney and Burks are now? No, mine. I have one Dooney and Burke, and the print does not look like. Yeah, it. like this one looks great. This yeah. one looks great, but this one, not so good. Oh, look at this. Is this Food and Wine Festival? Last year. Last year's Food and Wine Festival, 148. Oh, spooky, scary skeletons. $12, $13. Oh, yeah. oh the perfect price. Oh yeah, right? $13. You think they did that on purpose? They have limited sizing. Extra small, extra small, small, extra, extra, large, extra, small, small. Yeah, lots of Halloween stuff. I like this thing. Still don't really know what, oh, it's a candle. I wonder what smell it is. Ooh, terrible. It's kind of like cinnamony. It says $35. Oh, it's the Oogie Boogie Light of Tumblr. This one's actually from California Adventure. This is $8. How much is this thing? Five bucks for a ghost candle. Halloween ghost candle. I have a lot of them. Oh, it's a candle? It's yeah, it's candle? cinnamon. Yeah, it's like a cinnamon. It's like, it smells like a churro. For Halloween? Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, it's for dogs. Oh yeah. I thought for the baby. Lots of dog outfits. <laughs> I was like, oh, this will be perfect for the baby. This is great. Like all kinds of dog toys and dog shirts. You could oh, be a ghost host. 
Oh, Star Command? Oh, because the, the cat. Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, the cat. Did the cat wear this? No. In the Buzz Lightyear show? No, he was just dressed as a cat. Oh, okay. He was just dressed as a cat. <laughs> it's just a cat. What's this? Is that a dog thing or is this no. a onesie? Oh, it is a dog thing. Rough life. Huh. We go back into the Christmas stuff now. Lots of Pixar things. Okay. I'll let him what is it? It's oh, like a, like a tea, tea so towel set and, and a trivet and an oven mitt. It's all Pixar. Okay. Yeah, Wally and Eve and then, and then Pixar. I like that. What is this? This is 15. That's not bad. Monsters Inc. Wreath is 15. Here it is. Our first thing from the vault collection. Ooh. These Crocs right here. They're on sale for 30 bucks. Oh. Yeah. We'll have to find the actual stack of these. Because they're not. This is the Christmas stuff. Super thick socks for eight dollars. Look at how thick these are. It's a set of two. One with Chip and Dale, and one with Mickey and Minnie. I gotta say, even though we you live here in like socks. the hottest sock place in the world, I still love the good thick, like cozy sock. Yeah. Big fan. For like thirteen bucks, they have a bunch of different stockings that look knit. And then these with the Ewoks, like a metal baking thing for That's twenty bucks. Cool. Like you could bake something in the shape of Mickey Mouse. It is made of metal. Hmm. 20 bucks for a set of Christmas bowls. A, a set of three mixing bowls for how much? Does it say anywhere? This one is 20 bucks. But I don't know how much this one is. It's like a lazy... Oh, and it's for the Chinese New Year. Yeah, but it's a dish that spins. You can put all your different snacks. Oh, okay. This I found out was 15 bucks and this was $25. Mm -hmm. Kids Halloween droid shirt. Spooky. Nothing on the back, and these are 20 bucks. Bunch of different mediums here, not different, they have a bunch of medium size here of the Sanderson Sisters Spirit Jersey. It says, tonight we fly. And they're kind of cartoony. And she also has a book with her. Down to 79 from 130, this Ewok cardigan. It says Star Wars, is like a Spirit Jersey-esque cardigan. Very heavy, but also kind of a little bit itchy, more itchy than soft. So we showed this last time we were here, but did it's it go gone. Down I don't know. It's eighty dollars now. Did it go down in price? I don't know. Oh, okay. It's a good question. So the Epcot 40th stuff is on sale at the park still for forty percent off, but if you come here, it's fifty percent, well, more than fifty percent off. It's the Epcot 40th, like oh, a. It's a corksicle. Corksicle, right? Yeah, yeah, Disney corksicle for twenty bucks. So Corksicle is like a pretty expensive brand. Yeah, a local brand too. But they do like insulated cups, tumblers, yeah. mugs. Yeah. They're pretty popular, um, especially would, at Disney because they sponsor a lot of stuff at Disney. I would put them on par with like a Yeti, if yeah. you're familiar with the Yeti brand. I think, is this new? This is the fifth, this is the Epcot 40th stuff. Yeah, I think this is new to right. the outlet. This is not from the 40th, this is from the opening of Creation Shop though. Is it? I feel like I put this on last time, did I? Not this one. Oh, no, it looks fantastic. How much is it? I don't know. <laughs> Eight bucks. Not bad. Yeah. Castaway Key, 5K from the Disney Cruise Line. It's a, it's a water bottle. Eight bucks. Who makes this? Loungefly. Loungefly for 40 bucks. It's like a carousel, the Disneyland carousel. Oh. Does it have, what's her name? $80. Jingles, is she on there? I don't know. What does she look like? Um, she's got like gold filigree around her. I'm gonna say no. Oh uh, yeah. Also, this is the price of the Crocs down here. 30 bucks for the Vault Crocs. Look at this thing. This is nice. It's like, is this part of the, the Vault Collection too? It doesn't say Vault Collection. But it's 20 bucks. And it's like an old map. Oh, it's a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> so yeah, let's see what do we got here. Tea cups, those are, yeah, yeah. Space Mountain, trying to find something that's not, oh, 20,000 leagues, that's not there anymore. Oh, they have some Disney Javianas over here for 20 bucks. Pretty big though, like 11, 12, I could wear these. Javianas are pretty nice. These are a Brazilian style sandal, or a Brazilian sandal. It says, yoo -hoo. It's got Mickey and Pluto on it. A lot of purses around here. 20 bucks for this same, the Magic Kingdom map here. It's cool yeah, looking. I like really, it. I, I've never seen like this style. Did you see this picnic basket one? If it was, if it was like the um, the rattan, like if it wasn't this plastic, I would totally buy this. How much is this? It was twenty five bucks. Okay. But if it was like that, you know what I mean, like the seagrass. Yeah. I would totally buy it. Oh yeah, it's very plasticky feeling. Yeah, it doesn't look nice. What's this? Is this? Oh, what's this her is name? From, 
Remember from the new baby collection? We just saw this in the park. Yeah, but is this, uh, what's no, it called? It looks like it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> How much is it? We, it's 19 bucks, but we just saw this at Star Traders. Yeah. So they must have taken all that stuff here because they turned Star Traders into the Tron thing. Yeah. So maybe we're going to see more of it. Maybe. Found another trucker hat for, uh, this one is $7.99. This one's cool, Walt Disney World. It looks like it's part of the vault collection, but it doesn't say vault collection on it. Uh, and then you want to get this Life Day hat for your Snuggie to like they, go with it? Did they wear hats on the Life Day episode? Yeah, do you see these? All these Wookiees are wearing hats right here. What if they did? What if they just had baseball hats? <laughs> that on? baseball hat. Eight dollars for this Yoda plush. <laughs> we have a Porgy plush like this. Got some more Epcot 40th stuff here. This is a. Is this like a banner? This is like a pennant for Epcot 40th at World Showcase, and it has a oh. pin that goes with it. And it looks like the pin opens up. This was 10 bucks. There's also an Epcot throw blanket. They don't have one open up, but you can see this is what it looks like right here for 20 bucks. Another Epcot corksicle. Right here, this is like the, the tumbler for 20 bucks. And then you got more of the Bambi collection over here. Mm. Oh, you got vanilla, winter, cinnamon, and... Cypress. Cypress. This Three different, really nice. four different candles for... I would say there's like about three. About three of them for 25 bucks. Is this like a little Bambi bag? So there's more from that Bambi collection. I just like, this just came out. Yeah, for 20 bucks. I just can't believe, that really makes me feel like. Yeah, this is that throw blanket. That's what oh, it looks like right there. That's cute. What does it say on the back? Oh, 25 bucks. Yeah, that makes me feel like this stuff is really not worth at all what they what they have it priced at. Well, oh, yeah. I mean, not even a little bit. Okay, a little dessert coop for That's Aristocats. Cute. And this is with a designer, Han Shen. I love that. Yeah, it's cool. A whole set of stuff. This one's 15 bucks. Whoa, cream and sugar. A tea set, like a little teapot there. This is a pitcher for 20 bucks. I like this teapot, it's very frightening actually. I want all of this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got a Strange World shirt over here. And then some fig pins, the gigantic pins. So wait, did you watch that movie? Yeah. Strange World? Yeah, it's pretty I good. I get to watch it. But it's enjoyable. It, right? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta watch it. There is a lot of Lightyear merch around. Like you can get the Zerg and Buzz Lightyear. For 15 bucks for a giant Buzz Lightyear. Is and this, Hawthorne over here. Is this Kermit's outfit? Uh, I think it's anybody's. But doesn't he wear this in the... In like the Rainbow Connection? Yeah, is it? No. Oh, okay. Because we have the Kermit Nuimo. Yeah. He only has one outfit and it's a Halloween outfit. Yeah, so. we can get him this one if you want to. I don't know They're a dollar or two dollars. I don't know if I want to wait in that line for only a two dollar thing. Oh, okay. We'll see what else we're going to get. Yeah. Oh, we can get some pop figure, Funko Pops. They got Drax. We got Maya and we got Sarah. Also got Sharon Carter and America Chavez. Kate Bishop down here. And they have the what if ones here. Gamora with Blade of Thanos. It's kind of like a cool little set of things that you can get. Oh, this is from the holiday special, this Drax. Like oh, that. this Miss Marvel shirt is really cool. Yeah, I wish they had adult sizes. Did you see this? Oh, that's funny. Steven as a purse. Jonathan. Jonathan. What do you put in here? You put your pencils <laughs> and like credit cards right there. Huh. And then you put like your eyeliner down here. You know what you should do? Just fill it, just fill it full of pennies. Oh yeah. Then you can really just use Just like it. rocks. <laughs> Side note, this is the Mjolnir that, uh, what's her name uses? M M Mighty Thor. Yeah, the Mighty Thor. I kept wanting to say Mrs. Thor. Ms. Thor. Mrs. That's Mrs. <laughs> Thor to you. Um, 16 bucks. Do you believe in magic? I do. Oh, they have some reaction toys from Willow. Okay, this is cool. For eight bucks, it's just that? Willow. What does it mean? Reactions like these toys came out when the original movie came out and then they just redid them. Oh, okay. So. They canceled Willow. Oh. Yeah, it only had one season, I guess. Oh, no. So. Dang, I feel like I didn't even know that it even came out. I know, it's another thing that they didn't really promote. Right? They showed it at D23 and they're like, you guys got to see this. And then they're like, we're not going to tell you when, though. <laughs> what do you think this is? Like an iPad holder? Put like your pencils in here. 12 bucks. Made of wood. Oh, here we go. Get a wine and dine headband. For the half, we can pretend like we ran the half marathon. This is four bucks. 
Four bucks for a wine and dine headband. Coco loves running. He does. I've seen it. Yeah, America Chavez's jacket. It's 25 bucks. Oh, this is fun. It's like Princess and the Frog baking set. Like a gift baking set so you can make things to give to people. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, 25 bucks. Some Winnie the Pooh wall hooks for $20.99. Oh, Tigger, where are your manners? For 15 bucks, they just have a uh, like a Canadian shirt from the Canada Pavilion at Epcot. Some moose underwear too, or like moose pajamas. How much are these? These are listed at full price, 40 bucks. Oh look, and it's got a little butt flap for you. Oh, okay, 39 or $30.99. And then this one, $36. Pretty nice looking sweater. Oh, and it comes with little shorty shorts too. It doesn't come with it, you can buy short shorts with it. So you wear a long sleeve sweater and little sweat shorts for $20.99. A Doctor Strange hoodie for 35 bucks. Oh, a Life Day hoodie. I love this hoodie. Family Joy and Harmony. It's, they, it's very nice. It makes me feel like they ran out of the actual <laughs> Snuggies. Life Day 2022. 30 bucks. Do we need a Maz Kanata statue? Is she the one with the big glasses? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I don't think we do. But oh. For playing your, the, the you know, the, like the chessboard looking thing that they have on the Millennium Falcon? Oh, yeah. These are little monsters from it. Oh, okay. But we did ask about the Life Day Snuggy robe. Yeah. Gone. Completely gone. They're out. But they do have a Life Day shirt. Look at how happy these Wookiees are to be celebrating Life Day together. For $15. Oh, Lola. Look at her. Adorable. We found out through talking with my friend Nick that my favorite characters on every Star Wars are the droids. Yeah. So, 35 bucks for this Lola droid. Why is it thirty-five dollars? What does it do? And so you push it, and it like the little dance. Its little wings open up. It lights up, and it makes noises. It's on the festival of fantasy parade. Is it? Well, how much was it before? It was forty-five dollars before. Oh, so it was ten dollars off. Not okay. too bad. Not too big of a discount. But then, oh, wait, more Funko Pops. It's C-3PO as a snowman. That's creepy. Right? <laughs> is this a snowman stormtrooper too? And they're bobbleheads. I feel like. After seeing how much you could make on Funko Pops. I don't think you really can though. because I and Probably not. They don't sell them. But like... They, aren't they? I just read an article about how they're dumping like 9 million of them in a landfill. Oh geez. Yeah. So like... So we should buy them. No. <laughs> so that they don't go in the landfill. Okay. If they don't go... If they're not sold... I want to show you something. Okay. Oh, everybody's favorite shirt. <laughs> this shirt caused a commotion on the internet. Oh, did it? Yeah. Why? Because it's terrible. Oh. Okay. Look at it. Looks like somebody spilled bleach all over it, and then they like ironed on this picture from Pirates. Well, for fifteen dollars, it could be yours. Fifteen bucks. All right. Look at this. Wow. Originally one hundred and fifteen for the fiftieth, for sixty bucks. It is a Rain Spooner shirt too. What is that? Uh, it's just a brand. Oh. Ooh. This one's not. This one's a Her Universe. It's only nineteen dollars. Also. Very soft. Is this, this one's not for the 50th, it's just a Her Universe shirt. Yeah, it's nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like so soft. Oh, there's my, my shirt. I want to get this. Do you love Frozen 2, but also need to wear a button-down shirt? But also it's hot outside, so it needs to be short sleeves? <laughs> I've got the perfect shirt for you. 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a Frozen 2 shirt. All right. A button-down shirt. I don't understand it, but I'm sure somebody does. Love this. This is awesome. Like an oversized sweatshirt. Look at how far down the sleeves go on this thing. It's a dolman sleeve. A dolman sleeve. Yeah. For 30 bucks? Wow. Loving the Life Day merch. It says 25, but it's not. Look at it. It's all dusty on the top, too. Oh, a Pizza Planet jacket. Like, you work for Pizza Planet. That's awesome. They only have extra larges, but I like it. And it is $35. Oh, yeah. Look at those. Those are goofy shorts or pants. <clears throat> They're pretty cool. Yeah, how much? 25 bucks. Is this 50th stuff? I think so. Let me see. Yeah, it's 50th. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They're just, they're so thick. 15 bucks. Oh, yeah. It's all the ducks from uh, DuckTales. I'm so sad that that was canceled. I know, it's such a good cartoon. Well, and then they did the show, the um, the interactive game at Epcot. Yeah, after they we still haven't done that. We gotta go out and do that. But they, they only, they announced it after they canceled the show. I know. So it was like, what? 
Also, more Castaway Key stuff. Assorted baseball hats for $8. Oh. This is Strange World. Welcome to Tatooine, old home of the twin sons. What's this one up here? Tomorrowland hat. Xavier Institute for Higher Learning. Pandora World of Avatar. Wakanda. And then Space. Uh, you just showed this in a video. Lightyear. Oh, yeah. Like At you, Disney Springs. Yeah, you literally just showed it. It's on sale here for 25 bucks, marked down from 65 bucks. Yeah. Like, come to the outlets. Right? This is very strange. It's like a yoga set, like yoga pants and like a yoga style top. So it's like, do work out like a princess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Pride handheld fan for $3. What are these Crocs? They look like they're like acid wash jeans. Mm -hmm. Same price as the other Crocs, I'm sure. Got some Vault Collection shorts here from 15 years. These are $13. Is it a short or is it a skirt? Yeah, it's a skirt. A little, little mini skirt. Oh yeah, we saw With a drawstring. So we saw this at the Contemporary, and I was confused by it there. I'm still confused by it. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Miss Marvel hat. Thor. Also, they like put an ID, like a 50th name tag machine in here. Like an engraving machine. This wasn't here before, right? I don't remember this being here, no. Yeah. I mean, what are they going to do with it after the 50th ends? They got to put it They can change the stuff out. Can they? Yeah, it doesn't say 50th on it. They have a sweater here that says Mickey Mouse on it. It's $30. I almost bought this when we were at Disneyland. That's cool. Yeah. But they only have um, double XLs. Dang. Yeah. More of that Bambi collection. There's a, uh, there's like a flower here with Thumper, Flower, Bambi in it. And then just various like woodsy type themed things. 25 bucks. It's not bad. Like a hooded sweatshirt. But this was the collection that we saw at Star Traders. It was so cute. I yeah. love everything from that collection. Halloween Magic Band Plus on sale for 20 bucks. This thing was probably like 60 bucks. Oh really? Yeah. Because it's Slate. I don't know what Slate is, but... Yeah, come here for your Magic Band Pluses when they finally are done with the season. All right, Disney fans, you'll have to help me out with this one. What, uh, what's this quote from? <laughs> Look at this little Princess Leia pin. Yeah, they're cool. They like, she's like, ah. Yeah, ah. The little zombie hands. <laughs> trying to figure out what this thing is. Let me try to press another one. Guided by the light. I press a lot of them and I can't figure out what it does. Maybe that's why they're here at the outlet. Alani's Olumel coin purse for six dollars. I never thought we'd see any of like Duffy's friends or Olumel here at the outlets. Yeah. Right? Like that seems weird. But also, this is specifically from Alani. Six bucks. Yeah. Pretty cool. Got some bobble bar earrings here. We got Jack Skellington. Twenty bucks. These are lounge fly. It says they're lounge fly ears for twenty bucks, and they're Nightmare Before Christmas. Toy Story Christmas ones. The Mighty Thor. What is it? I bet you're wondering what's in my oddly shaped poison apple. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. oh. oh, okay. <laughs> An even oddlier shaped Snow White. What's on her back? Oh, the Evil oh, Queen. No. Wait, does that mean they're the same? Yeah. They're the same person. It's canon, they're the same person. Oh. They were the same person all along. If you're graduating, you can get your graduation cap here for class of 2022, last year. Just scribble it out and say 2023. I mean, maybe somebody will get it for like memories. Maybe they can. Maybe they could save it until 3023, 22. You still have to. Oh, you still have it. says 2022. Yeah. Oh, dang it. With a big Thunder Mountain Mickey right here. Is this a Polynesian village little tiki hut purse for 35 bucks? I want to see like the inside of it. Yeah, how does it? How much can you carry? Can carry one Polynesian drink. I bet you could. Oh, it's a Trader Sam's one. Oh, cute. Yeah. I like this. We actually have a stay at the Poly at some point. Oh. So this would be perfect for our stay. Okay. They have another one. I think this one's from Dumbo. What were these called? These were called something oh, specific. The main attraction. The main attraction, yeah. Mickey Mouse main attraction. Then they have the ears for both Big Thunder and for Dumbo. That really makes me, it just seems like, like, do not buy any of this stuff at Well, some of it I think you had to. The main attraction stuff, it's all yeah, here. Yeah, it's not all of it. There's only three of them here. Oh, look, 
This one's for Peter Pan. Yeah, Peter Pan, Big Thunder, and Dumbo. Those are the three. Well, we're only in the third month. Right? Emperor's New Groove, Dooney and Burke. Good times. 180 bucks. I wonder if, and they still have the, the coach stuff too. Oh yeah, they do still have the coach stuff. The coach bags, some of those vans. Yeah, they have the vans shoes back there. Wow. I think they're just over, like, over mass producing. Over ordering stuff, yeah. yeah. Like they, I think they maybe are relying on the resellers to really like scoop it up. And maybe, maybe they're not doing that anymore. Maybe. Because there's so much of it here. Yeah. Like look at all these. Well. I did want to mention that these main attraction things are from the 50th. Oh, are they? Yeah, you see it's on the back of the year. But they just started this year. No, they started during the 50th. What are the things that just started this year? That was for the 100 years. Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Got it, okay. So these had to have sold good if they like went ahead with the 100 year stuff. I think that even if they didn't sell well, I think they would still have made the 100 year stuff. Okay. Because they're gonna make... But they would have done 100 year stuff but not main attraction stuff. Like they're doing just like this, where there's like a different one for each month. Yeah, it's a different decade. Yeah, so like, you if these didn't sell good, you wouldn't take that same formula and be like, let's use it on the hundred. Well, I think like them selling well is sort of like a um, like a broad statement because okay. I know that they're not worth thirty four dollars. Oh yeah, they're worth nine. But even selling them at nine dollars they're still making a profit so how much are they actually worth well yeah because they're I mean? disney they can get stuff for basically free right so anything that's the way profit. anything that you buy is like that not anything what are you buying at rate no no i'm saying like at some point they're gonna they're gonna take a loss but i don't think disney will ever take a loss right on the merch right because like right you know what i mean yeah and this has been your math lesson. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go into the coach store, but there's a little bit of a line. It's a little bit too hot for us to be standing in a line outside right now. So just like peek in the window and see okay. if there's even glasses in there. You gotta admit though, I kinda like these like purses here. They're pretty cool. All right, so we are all done at the outlets. We're headed back to the car right now, but we're just still gonna try to like look around, see if we can find a place to eat really quick. So we did find a pretty good amount of the 50th stuff, which is what we were looking for, and the vault stuff. We didn't buy anything. I felt like there was nothing that I loved. Right. So maybe on our next trip, if it's still there, yeah, you never we'll know. get our new email outfit. Oh yeah. All right, so we are headed off to, the area near Portillo's has a lot of new restaurants on it. We're kind of looking at it, and I think we kind of honed in on McAllister's Deli. Yeah. So it should be a nice little like soup, sandwiches, potatoes type place. So when I was in college, I went to college up in Gainesville and there was a McAllister's near my apartment actually. And I remember really liking it, but it was also like almost 20 years ago. <laughs> so. And it was also you were in college. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I remember liking it. So we'll see, but it's like a brand new place over here. Uh, and it just seems like it'll be light, you know? literally opened on Jack's or on Oliver's birthday. Oh, did it? It opened on Oliver's birthday. I think so, yeah. How fun. But we are leaving the outlets, so. Bye, Vineland. We'll see ya next time. I would like to come back and look at some of the other outlet stores because there's, I always want to go in the Gucci store, but there's always like a, like a really long line to get into Gucci. And then there's a Tory Burch outlet too. And I'd be interested to see, because I always want to look at those shoes there. And then we walked by the Burberry outlet and it smelled so good. So I'd be interested to just go in and like smell their perfumes and colognes. So that's what I wanna do. And of course I wanna go in the coach store to see if they have these glasses. Cause if they do, I would actually buy another pair just in case, cause I know I'm gonna ruin these one day. I'm sure I will scratch them or break them or bend them or something. Uh, and I would like to get another pair if I can find them at the outlet. Straight ahead of us is area 15 which is an entertainment complex in Las Vegas, where they have the Shrek raves, and it's also where that Meow Wolf installation is. Wait, what do you mean, like this land? Yeah, you can kind of see, I don't know if you're able to zoom in, but just past that tree, there's like a robot out there. Yeah, I saw that. That is their like mascot, and they're gonna build it right here. Oh, okay, I don't know if you can see the robot guy. He's, he was over there. So we talked about this the last time that we came to the outlet. We talked about the Shrek rave, and there were some people that actually went to it, that commented, they were like, yeah, I was there. That's uh... And how was it? it? I think they said it was pretty interesting. I mean, I don't know how it couldn't be interesting. A Shrek rave, right? Yeah. Yeah, they just play, um, who's the... Somebody yeah. once told Who are they? me what the are they called? Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth, all the time. 
Yeah, I saw her face. And you just paint yourself green. I'm a believer. <laughs> And oh, fart a lot. I and guess. you eat waffles and onions. Oh, yeah. Onions and, yeah. Why onions. would you fart a lot? Because it's Shrek. That's what Shrek does. Oh, does he fart a lot? Yeah. Oh, from all those onions. Yeah. So, over here, there's a World of Beer, a Tijuana Flats, a Burger Fi, and the McAllister's is right next to the Burger Fi. There's a First Watch, a Wendy's. Wendy's. This is like just Food Row over here. Yeah, and across the streets is the uh, That's the Portillo's. Portillo's and the White Castle. I gotta say, I really wanted Portillo's, but we ate there last time. Every time we try to pick a place, I say, just tell me where you want to go, and she well, never will. I figure for the video, it's not good if we just go to the same place over and over again. That's true. But I would. I would totally just go to Portillo's every time. Mm -hmm. It's so good. But right. let's try McAllister's. A little bit more healthy. We're on our health kick. Are we? I mean, I'm right. Gonna a, I'm going to get a cookie. <laughs> I'll be having one of these. <laughs> McAllister's Deli. Let's do it. Definitely not as big as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of a small little restaurant. We get salads. Sandwiches, spuds, these are full out like baked potatoes. And the kids meal. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this like drink that they gave us. It's huge. All right. A bit wild here. I got the club, but I got the king club, so it's like double everything. Ham, turkey, cheddar, Swiss, bacon, tomato, lettuce, honey mustard, and mayonnaise. It looks so good. Yeah, it looks awesome. That? I'm with my hands. <laughs> and I, they're like, we, we got chips, we got Vicky's chips, Miss Vicky's chips. Well, they also asked if we wanted a pickle spear with each of ours. This is kind of a sad looking pickle spear you've got here. Yeah. So yes. I got the Rachel, which is the Reuben, but with turkey. Yeah, it's good. So it's just turkey, Thousand Island, and uh, what do you call it? sauerkraut. And then I got the cucumber tomato salad for the side. Yeah. And I did get a cookie. Trying the cookie. Let's see. Yeah. It looks good. Cookie connoisseur. You, you really are. I want to try it from this spot for it's got <laughs> a lot of chocolate chips. Pretty okay? Pretty okay. Hmm. What a would you take? It's overly sweet. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Everything was pretty good though. I actually really did like my sandwich and I liked my little salad. I liked my sandwich a lot, but it was a little bit too big. Oh. Hard to eat. So Jen got a brookie and she let me have a little bite of it. And I've come to the conclusion I like brownies better than I like cookies, but I can't eat as many brownies as I can eat cookies in one sitting. <laughs> Is that why you Discuss. order cookies? <laughs> that's my that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Is that why you order cookies? Yeah. So you can eat maximum amount of cookies. Well, no, because I if I eat a brownie. Here's my brookie, by the way. <laughs> if I eat a brownie, I am like it, it's so much, so rich, it like hurts my tum tum. We're just looking at street names, and Jen goes, "Who's Palm Pie?" <laughs> Man. He was the man that the Palm Pilot was named after. Oh, speaking of, of fun facts about people. Yeah? Inside of McAllister's, inside of McAllister's there was a sign that said, the dentist who loves sandwiches, question mark? Which makes me think that McAllister's was started by a dentist. I think that's exactly what happened. But why, are, den like, are sandwiches bad for your teeth? No. It'd be more of like a, it'd be more of like a, a sign worthy event if it was like the dentist who loved ice cream? Candy, hard candy. <laughs> right? Like he bubble loved everlasting everlasting gobstoppers. Right? Like sandwiches is like, well yeah, everybody likes sandwiches, duh. Huh? Right? Does everybody like sandwich? I'm sure there will be people that'll say, fine, excuse me, <clears throat> I hate sandwiches. I just like sandwiches. <laughs> That's like saying everybody likes pizza. There are people that don't like pizza. Alright, so we're back home. A nice visit to the outlets. I was uh, surprised at some of the stuff that they had in there. Right? They had some stuff that we literally just saw in the parks. I know. If you're coming here on vacation, it is definitely worth checking out the outlets. Oh, 100%. I will say that we talked to somebody at the outlets that had... So there's two different character warehouses, which is the Disney outlet. Yes. There's one at Vineland and there's one on International. And they had they're, just... They're both premium outlets. Right. There's two different premium outlets. One I feel like is better than the other. I think the pre the one that we went to on Violent is is better. Yeah. Than the one on International. Yeah. Well, the person that we talked to said that when they were at the one on International, all of the stuff that was marked down at Vineland was not marked down at International. They were selling it full price, like you would find it in the park. Which seems so strange. Yeah, it's not outlet, right? That's just yeah. like you're going to a Disney store. Right. So. 
if it were me and I, if you were like, I only have time to go to one outlet, I would go to the one on Vineland. Vineland. Just my opinion. It's also closer to Disney. So in my caveman brain, that means that they would get the stuff first because the truck would have to drive by them from Disney to get to the other outlet. So they get the stuff first, they get the better stuff, and then when it doesn't sell there, then it goes to the next one. We don't know that. That's, that's just that's you. That's right, caveman brain. You're just assuming that. We're yeah. not sure. But the other thing I wanted to mention too, though, is that the last time we were in there, I asked, you know, like, when do you guys get your shipments? Like, when does the new stuff come in? And in previous years, they had like a weekly shipment and people would come in, I think it was like a Wednesday. Yeah. But when I asked last time, she said that they get new stuff pretty much every day. Whoa. And I wonder if that's because like Disney is just making so much merch right now. Maybe. Just there's always something new. I'm sure if you watch any vlogs or you've gone into the parks, you see that there's just like constantly like turnover of new just product. Right. So it's gotta go somewhere. It's gotta go somewhere. Yeah. That's so my, uh, that's my, uh... My motto. <laughs> My, okay. What's the motto of you? It's gotta go somewhere. Oh. Um, but that makes sense that like any day is a good day to go to the outlet. Yeah. Because they're getting new stuff every day. Yeah. So, I don't know. Go there. Check it out. Don't pay full price for the merchandise. Because you don't have to. That's another motto. Yeah. <laughs> don't pay full price for the merchandise. I try not to. There is some merchandise that you do have to pay full price for. Yeah. And... We should also preface that the majority of items at the outlet are not still available in the parks. There are a few items that are, but the majority of them are not. Like you guys saw, it was a lot of Christmas and Halloween stuff. Right, yeah. So. And some of the sizes are like, you know, not full size runs. It's usually like either on the smaller end of the scale or the larger end. It's not really like the middle sizes. So keep that in mind too. If I were planning a trip to Disney World and I wanted to get some merchandise, I would take a day towards the beginning of the trip to go to the outlets. Yeah. And then if you find something at Disney that you didn't see at the outlets later in the trip, then you know, okay, I'm not going to get it at the outlets this trip. I'm going to buy it here. Yeah. So yeah, the character warehouse is awesome. All in all, it was a fantastic trip to the outlets. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.